Are you under attack, Ed? The fly just bombed him. <laughs> He's spazzing out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. There it is. This one just bombed him. Watch out, Ed. He's going to get you. So, do we have a solution to the problem? <laughs> Chelsea wants to be in here with Alex. Chelsea wants to play on Alex's computer. So we brought my old laptop in here and a chair for Chelsea to sit next to Alex. Are you playing your computer? Yeah? Like she was having a fit because she wanted, she wants to sit in Alex's lap and play the games that are on Alex's computer because Alex has done that with her a few times and now she's like, that's all she wants to do. So we're going to try this out. You going to play games? Yeah? Good job. It's Manny Petty time. Chelsea just had her fingers and her toes clipped and now she wants them to be painted. And I took her in and I let her pick out what polish she wanted and she picked this one by Essie. It is Blossom Dandy and it's a really pretty kind of like a turquoisey, baby bluey color. So are you ready? Do you want to paint your toes or your fingers first? Pink. <laughs> you want to do your toes? Yeah. Okay, we're going to paint Chelsea's toes. Okay, the Tootsies are done. They're a little messy because Chelsea's ticklish, so she squirms. But once she has a bath, they'll be better. What's up now? You ready to do your fingers? Yeah. She's all excited. Look, she's like, as soon as I was done with her toes, she spread her little fingers out. Okay, we got to get a napkin, okay? Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> she gets so excited. But her fingers are done. She just smudged these two, but that's going to happen. So pretty. Blow on them. Blow, blow, blow. Good job. Lay them on the towel. Put them on the towel. No. No. <laughs> you got to wait till they dry. Don't touch. Oh, that was a perfect nose wipe with wet nails. Good job. Didn't even mess up the nails with the nose wipe. Somebody wants to play outside. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. I had jeans on and the sun actually came out for the first time in like four days. So I said, let's go play outside even though it's gonna be really hot out and probably buggy and muggy. <laughs> um, so Chelsea, I went to change my into shorts and Chelsea brought me my shoes. Are you ready to go play outside for a little bit? Look guys, we moved the kitchen table. We actually, we moved it for a review that we're working on, but Michael's like, I was thinking about moving it anyway, and it makes the whole room look so much bigger. So we might keep it over, just pushed over this way for now. It's up against the wall. I don't, I'm not a fan of it being up against the wall because it kind of messes with the flow, but it's nice to have this big open, area when you first walk into the kitchen and not have to bump around the table and stuff like that. Oh, look at her. She's sticking her keys in the door. You're so funny. It's like, come on, mom, come on. I want to go outside. Come on, come on. Look, we have our own little riverbed in the yard. <laughs> the rain's been puddling up here and then trickling down. Anywhere you can see where it's light, it trickles all the way down. Ooh, look at you. Chelsea wanted to wear Alex's Tinkerbell shirt. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Looks fabulous. <laughs> Look how, how big it is. Oh my goodness. Ed's like, I gotta check it out. Wow, it's like a dress. <laughs> Ooh, now she's sporting a green t-shirt <laughs> as a skirt and trying to pull it off. <laughs> she just came shimmying down the hallway, shuffling. Is Chelsea stuck? It kind of does look like a cute little skirt. Are you just going to keep struggling till you get it off? <laughs> what is she doing? Apparently she thinks that way is going to do it. Daddy help. There you go. Ta-da! Oh, man, we just realized. Because we moved the table. 
take a second for those lights to warm up. And because then yeah, it's burnt out, so we're gonna have to replace that. Because we moved the table, we're not right underneath the light anymore, so it's gonna be dark when we vlog here. Would we get a hopefully a new family member? Nice <laughs> camera. How many years have we had this camera? Didn't uh no. Two. Didn't we get this right when we had Chelsea? We got that one like right before Christmas when we were going up to Michigan. Because there was a whole hurry of getting that one shipped to us. Mm. And why do we need a new one? I don't know. Somebody scratched the lens on that one. <laughs> the le yeah, the lens is scratched on this one. You can't really tell that bad, but... I'm just get my hands on it. It's like, I gotta check out. Um, I've dropped this one numerous times. Yes, you have. It works. So. It's still fine. That will be the new backup camera. Yep. We always keep a backup because you never so. know. Or two or three backups. Ooh. So it's slightly bigger. Ooh. And it's um, kind of a upper version. Upper. This is the 350. A step up. 350 and that's the 130. So yeah. It is a step up. So we currently have the Canon PowerShot ELF 130IS. I'm reading it off the side. And this is the Canon is it PowerShot ELF 350HS. So, uh-oh, is, is our batteries gonna fit? Yes, I did. <laughs> we like to have... specifically buy the model that would fit our batteries. So now we'll have, in fact, another battery and now we'll have another charger. So there's there's a vlogging YouTube tip for you. Always have an extra battery charge oh, I'm because gonna go all the setup and everything. we'll be vlogging and like our battery will just flash and die. So it's good to have a backup charged and ready to go when you need it. And even when we go places like when we go toy hunting and stuff or when we go out, anytime we leave the house, we try to take an extra battery with us that's charged just in case. What is she play? No. She, she not wants this to one. play with the huh. new camera. Is it's bigger, it? but I think it's lighter. Really? It's shaped differently. Can you see it like angles? Uh, yeah, I can. So it's going to be. And uh, the no, one thing camera. I do not like about this is where the record button is. It's, okay. It feels more firm when it's in there mm -hmm. than it does hanging all the way on the edge. I'm not going to like that. Mike is on the front now. Oh. Remember we had the mic and we oh, yeah. the way we hold the camera. But didn't we have issues with sound before when the mic was on the front? Or did we no. like it better that way? No. We have issues with that mic on the top because we put our finger over the top. Oh, that's our, true. Our, you put your finger over the top. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> okay, so this is the new camera. <laughs> oh, we got it. This is a new camera and we're actually shooting in 1080p right now. Ooh, really? So we'll see how the screen quality is. So I probably look awful right now. <laughs> this is like high definition. Do you guys see the snail? Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> what do you think of that, Missy? Uh -huh. It's a snail. Yeah. Do you see it moving? Yeah. Yeah. I see it. You see it. Flash. It's pretty cute, huh? Flash. It looks so different. It, well, it, <laughs> <laughs> the screen looks different because it's a higher resolution screen. It looks darker though. Is that a new camera? Yeah, it's our new camera. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on? Oh, it looks brighter when I show Alex. It looks darker well, when I show you. Backlight. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's time for the question of the day. You guys are going to have to bear with us as we get used to this new camera. I am recording, right? Okay, cool. The record button and the play button are right next to each other. Okay. Okay. Today's question comes from Ruby Manon, and the question is If you had a lifetime supply of any kind of food, what would it be? And she says, for example, she would pick candy which there's a lot of different things that could fall into that category. So I think we're gonna be a little more specific. We're gonna be a lot more specific. You need to narrow it down to something. Narrow it down to something, okay. 
So what's your answer? There's a lot of foods that I love, but I know if I eat it too much, I'll get sick of it. The one thing I don't think I can ever get sick of would be a chocolate malt. So a lifetime supply of chocolate malts. Chocolate like the malts. kind they make at like a good ice cream place. So if I could pop in any time and say, I want a chocolate malt. Yeah? I think mm. that would be a good lifetime supply. <laughs> okay. Now, it might not be specific enough for Michael, so I might have to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to say seafood. Is that not specific no, enough? because that's like... Okay. Then I will say crab legs. There you go. Crab legs. Crab legs are pretty pricey if you go to a restaurant, if you go to the grocery store to make it yourself, they're pricey. So that would be one of those like luxurious items that I hardly ever eat that it would be nice to just yeah, like Michael said, I want crab legs. Give me crab legs. Yep. Delicious. And nobody else in the family likes seafood, so I just don't even bother buying it because I'd be the only one to eat it. I guess I should once in a while just for a little treat for myself. But yeah, I'll go with crab legs. I like the donuts that have the custard in them. Mm. I don't think I'd ever get tired of those, so I would want a lifetime supply of those. Really? I thought she would say ice cream. Yeah, she, this girl <laughs> likes her ice Klondike bars. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Klondike bars. Lifetime supply. <laughs> well, I almost, yeah, really, she gets that anyway. <laughs> hey, I, I almost said, <laughs> well, until dad goes to the store. I almost said chocolate, but that wouldn't have been specific enough, would it? No, you have to say a certain candy bar. Cadbury eggs. There you go. Cadbury cream eggs. You can only get them at Easter time, and I would love, or Easter and Halloween, and I would love, love, love to be able to be like, I want a Cadbury egg. Oh, I might be changing my answer now. <laughs> mm hmm. Because those are like a limited time. Th I could go buy crab legs right now if I want, but I can't go buy a Cadbury egg. <laughs> I might change it. I don't know. So we want to know from you guys if you had a lifetime supply of any kind of food, be what would specific. it be? You can't just say candy or pop or chocolate or ice cream or. Yeah. Get a little, like mine isn't mine specific. It is a chocolate malt. Right. It's not just ice cream. So Alex is specific and my certain type of donut. My so be two specific. My two items are specific. <laughs> so leave it in the comments below.